I don't know if you're like me, but back in my teenage years, I worked at Burger King and I absolutely loved it. Yep, I'm that geeky person who enjoys work. Not only were there great perks like getting free food, but I also learned a lot. And if you've ever been to a fast food restaurant, and who hasn't, if you placed your order for a burger and a drink, nine times out of 10, the person who's taking your order asks you, would you like fries with that? And probably at least 50% of the time, you and the rest of the customers said, yes, fries do sound like a great idea. That's what's known as suggestive selling. And I'm here to show you that the same concept can revolutionize your beauty or your service business. So welcome back to Your Pricing Matters. If you're here for the first time, my name is Mickey Wright, and I'm your pricing strategist. I help female entrepreneurs and beauty pros gain the confidence to set, raise, and communicate their prices, run a better business, and live a life that they enjoy. So today we are diving into a topic that might sound a little bit unexpected, but trust me, it's a game changer. The technique I just shared with you, suggestive selling, has a huge impact on revenue and client loyalty, so much so that in order to work at most fast food places, it's a requirement that you ask each and every single time, and it's required in most fast food places for a reason. Now, you might wonder, why is suggestive selling such a big deal? Well, it all comes down to the bottom line, which for fast food owners, they aim to serve quality food, satisfy their customers, and of course, make a profit. More sales means better results. So when the cashier suggests fries and half the customers say yes, it's a win-win situation. Not only do the customers enjoy a tastier meal, it's like, but the restaurant also pockets extra cash. But here's the twist. While the technique works wonders in the fast food world, many hairstylists and beauty pros and other service providers completely overlook it. You see, when you're providing personal services, it's much more than a transaction. It's a connection. It's built on trust, on care, on your expertise. And that's where suggestive selling comes into play. In addition, when we don't build that connection, we are missing out on a gold mine of opportunities and it's costing us big time, both in dollars and cents and in keeping our clients coming back. The way I look at it, most hairstylists and beauty pros couldn't even qualify to work at a fast food restaurant. Woo. So it's because either they won't or they don't suggest to sell, or maybe they just don't know why they should. So here's an example. Our client comes in, and I'll use a beauty example because I think it's really relevant. Our client comes in and says, I'll have my regular, or I'm just here for a cut. And what do we say? Okay, come on back. Let's go back to the shampoo bowl and get started. Right? Bam, that is the wrong answer. So there's no taking a look at their hair to see what they may need in terms of conditioning, treatment, glaze, highlights, anything. Um, there's no asking them how their hair was in between to maintain. So we don't know that, you know, their experience was it was dry, it was limp, it was frizzy, whatever it may be, and that they really could use our help with a solution for those types of challenges. Or maybe they just need to understand why they need to come in more frequently before their hair gets so out of control or has five inches of new growth since their last color. So the result, hairstylists aren't making those suggestive sales and they're leaving hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars on the table each week. Hard to believe, right? So imagine if just half of your clients last week opted for a conditioning treatment. That's a significant revenue boost, not to mention the benefits to their hair. So let's face it, you're more than a stylist. Your clients come to you for more than a hairstyle or a haircut. They come for your professional expertise and recommendations. And when you don't share that knowledge and show them that you care, you become what I call an order taker. And trust me, clients can find order takers absolutely anywhere. That's one of the reasons they're not loyal. They jump from one stylist to the next, and that leaves you on an endless cycle of needing to find more clients. But fear not. If you really want to stand out, build a thriving business, and have clients eager to return, it's really time to embrace suggestive selling. So I want to give you a little action plan, and I just want to challenge you just for this week um, to try suggestive selling. So how does that look? 
So step number one, I want you to just take a few minutes with each client to analyze their hair before you go to the bowl. The same things that we learned in cosmetology school, and you can apply this to any type of profession that you may be in. Um, take those few minutes, have a little consultation, find out what's going on with the hair, make your own professional analysis. Then step two, ask them about their hair. And then here's the key, listen. We were born with two ears and one mouth for a reason. It's like we need to listen twice as much as we talk. And so listen to them. They will tell you what their hair challenges are and you'll get to offer a solution. How do you think they'll feel? Listen to, which is a really, really powerful feeling. So on to step three. Don't be afraid to make your professional recommendations. It's actually why they come to you. And four, remember, everyone may not take your suggestions and that's okay. They're suggestions. Just keep making them. Let's make sure that they are personalized to them and they will get on board. We're not selling something. We're not upselling something. We're just suggesting um, things that will benefit our clients and create a better bond for us um, in terms of what we do and what we have to offer. So give it a shot this week and see the magic that happens. I'll bet you'll feel more empowered, um, probably more connected to your clients, and your clients will probably appreciate the attention. So watch how they react. Um, they actually might be surprised by the personalized focus. Did anyone ask you to book their next appointment right away? And the cherry on top is your bottom line. So let me break it down for you. I'm going to give you just a little quick example and we're just going to assume for conversation's sake that that two of the clients that you serviced last week ended up um, opting for a conditioning treatment at $25 each. Um, so that's $50 additional. And one of your clients decided to get a glaze or semi-permanent color, brighten up and refresh. And that was $45. And another client decided to get um, a set of face frame uh, highlights where you may be putting in 12 foils or so right around the front and creating some some brightness around their face. And that's $60. When we total up the extras that you know your clients opted in for because you took the time to actually talk to them and listen to them and see what their needs were and make your suggestions, it adds up to $155. Now, of course, that's not really earth shattering, right? $155. But if you do this weekly, do you know at the end of a month, you'll have made $620 more? That starts to, to make it make a difference. What could you do with $620 additional? If you need more convincing, I want to share one of my students actually gave this a shot and she actually brought in an extra $360 in one week. And that was without increasing the number of clients. She looked at one week and the next week, and it was the same exact number of clients, and she made $360 more. Um, in a month, that's more than $1,400 just for making her clients feel special. That's what suggestive selling is all about, and that's the power of it. So are you ready to kick that order taker to the curve? I'm excited to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. That's a wrap for today's video, but what I want you to remember is it's your expertise that sets you apart and fuels your success in your service business. So I will look forward to seeing you next time. And if you found this information helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, make sure that you don't miss uh, an upcoming episode. So until next time, I want you to keep preaching for the stars and I will see you soon. Before we go, I've got a quick question for you. Do you secretly dread it when someone asks you, how much do you charge? Well, I'd like to invite you to grab my free pricing cheat sheet at beautysuperstars.com forward slash keys for the four keys to confident pricing. And it will help you say goodbye to selling yourself short and questioning your prices. Hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, special orders don't upset us. All we ask is that you let us serve it your way. Have it your way, have it your way. What if we sing that to every client? Hey. <laughs>